you won't believe the view. Well, <laughs> the view's pretty good right now. You wait till I flip the camera. So anyway, I'm here with the, I'll have to crook it down. There you go. <laughs> I'm here with the Cornish Pixie and uh, we're gonna review some pasties. So should we have a pasty reveal? Where did we get them from? So, so we, went, we went to Rose and before all you pasty aficionados start complaining, I think Rose for a franchise group are pretty bloody good really. Yeah, all right, they're not like, you know, a Malcolm Barnica or anything like that, but they're a good standard. And they've got some new flavors coming, so I was in there talking to them. And uh, so we're gonna go back and have a roast dinner pasty <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Anyway, I'll shut up, look at this view. Ain't Cornwall brilliant. Where are we, Pixie? Uh, on the coast road between Portreath and Gadrivi. Look at that. What an amazing place to have a pasty. Absolutely stunning. I love it here. When it's not raining. Right, let's eat. There's one advantage spot here, one seat. And that's it, we're just claiming it. Look at this, how brilliant is this? It was like it's the pasty eating spot. I'm gonna put my ass down here. Oh, that's proper comfy, what do you reckon? It's perfect. Perfect, oh my God. So, part of me and my hair, I hope these sounds are right. But look at that, if you're gonna eat a Cornish pasty, you might as well sit on a Cornish coast. Oh, I feel, a new playlist coming on Cornish coastline pasties. Uh, it does sound catchy, does it? it sounds a bit shit. <laughs> <laughs> pasties on the beach. Now that sounds a bit sexist. Do you know what I mean? So well, there you go, it depends on the beach. So this is a large steak. I've got to have one. We've got um, other pasties in the bag, but what I like about it is it makes a big smile. <laughs> but look at the size of that thing. It's big, it's actually, look, that's my hand. I have big hands. It's bigger than my hand. And does that look lovely with the sea in the background? It does look lovely with the sea in the background. So, there you go. So, I'm going to get serious. I'm actually starving. Okay. Oh, I knew that. We were going to do this video in the park because I've got a camera stand. We're looking down at that blue water. Just the way just so crashing in in the spew. Got the meat content in there. Bows, man. I think they're really underrated. That's bang. Just one here. There's a perfect blend. There's a lot of meat. It's not too peppery, and I know that's uh, contentious because a lot of people like peppery pasties. I like it on the medium side of peppery. Not hitting on this. I would like some, yeah. Well, I'll just. I'll just put the knob in my mouth and then I'll pass it over to you. Mm. Jesus, that's huge. Yeah, I'm going to call him. You went straight for the knob. That's unlike you. Is it just to get it out of the way? Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm still chewing. I'm really happy. And the views are amazing. I know, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't spill one bit, I'll, have, I'll get that. There you go. I was going to give it to the wildlife. You just did, I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> get that big meaty bit in your mouth. This reminds me of a thread on Facebook, things you can say in a restaurant and in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
really tasty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a big thick knob. <laughs> this one's very meaty. I'm just looking forward to the saucy bit at the end. And very moist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, sorry everyone, we're not sorry. We're pure oil. Right, I'm gonna look at the view, look at this. I tell you what, we're really lucky because it's absolutely rammed in Cornwall right now. And this, we found a little hidden slice of nothing except us, the ocean, butterflies. Oh my God. And pasties. Rose pasties. Rose pasties, right, how are you doing with that? It's it's really good. For a franchise, it is banging, isn't it? It's a really good pasty. So, like, I, I like the pastry. It's, it's big enough to hold it all together. So you don't have to worry about slippage or anything like that, losing any of your contents. And that's their large steak. What do you think of the volume to... You can see how large it is, like, because you've got, like, my normal size hand. Yeah. Because that... his hands are so big, you can't really get a good... Well, it covered my hands. It was that big. But what do you think about the pepperiness? Because, like, we haven't really discussed that. That's perfect pepperiness I, for me. I, I prefer a little bit more pepper. Yeah. I'm, I'm on there, need, needs more pepper. That's a personal preference. I quite like the size of the crust. You know, if you threw it away in a mine, knockers could eat it and it'd be all right. That's mm, going yeah, into totally. Cornish mythology. But I I don't, the, the pastry's that good. I don't actually mind eating the handle. It's really, it's not dense. It's thick, but tasty. They're really buttery as well. Right, should we uh, no. have a look at another pasty? Because we've got other ones to, to eat. Right, this one is not quite so big, but I've never had this one before, so it's a chilli beef one. So I'm assuming like a chilli, like chilli con carne? I don't know, Mexican chilli? Who knows? Hopefully it's spicy. i still got a smiley face, it's just a smaller smile. Right, okay, I've never had one of these before, so a chilli beef pasty. Got well, a little red kidney beans stopping it. Oh, you don't like this. That's a lot better than I expected. So that actually has got a, uh, a bit of heat to it. I could quite easily eat all of this without sharing, but <laughs> I'm not that bad person. Oh my god, this is actually really good. I'm enjoying this more than I enjoyed the steak. literally like someone made a really really good cheap homemade chili and then just put it in a and then made it into a pasty yeah but it's you you wait it's got a really good tea to it and it's you can taste it's jalapeno as well mm. my bite that's a 10. i didn't expect to give a non proper cornish pasty a 10. So, uh, that's what i like bro they're adventurous and they change their menus all the time Oh, seriously, try that. All right, here we go. Okay, chilli pasty. My first chilli pasty. Yeah, that was mine. That's all right. It's, it's sloppier than the rest because it's like a proper chilli, isn't it? Yeah. So you're not getting big chunks of meat or anything like that. I mean, look, there's a good shot. Show, show, show us your pasty. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's actually really nice. Spice levels just. If I kind of think of it as an empanada, like a Mexican empanada, rather than a pasty. Yeah. My mind can cope with it. I think. But it's, thinking it's a Cornish pasty. It's not. It's wrong. not a Cornish pasty. It's but obviously not traditional. The pastry. I think the pa I think that's better than an empanada, and I think the pastry's better than the Spanish stuff we were eating. I really like that. So, what about the heat? It's just enough of a tickle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's not going to smash her, but my tongue's tingling. So, 
and I love the quality of that. Oh, right, so there you go. I gave it a ten. Caroline's not going to give it a ten because she's Cornish. So what are you going to give it? Because it's well, like it's not. It's a. If you think of it, as it's a not. It's not pasty, pretending to be a Cornish pasty. It's not pretending to be a Cornish pasty, so it can be a ten. It's just a pasty okay. with different stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's But I, I think the yeah, pa really the pastry's good. lighter on that one. So it's thinner pastry, so you're getting more of the flavour as well, which I've really enjoyed. So anyway, tens all round. So, but um, and we're definitely going back for the um, roast dinner pasty. Oh yeah. What else did they say? Lamb and mint. Lamb and mint. Lamb and mint. That's uh, pretty mad. And isn't cauliflower. It? And a oh, cauliflower yeah. cheese pasty. So that might that might be good. I just might have to work outside the next day. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching. If you've made it this far. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like button, and you know what? Sharing's caring. See you all later.